Let's denote the given integral by i. Now the numerator of the integrand x cubed plus 3x plus 2 can be written as x cubed plus x plus 2x plus 2 which is equal to x times in brackets x square plus 1 from the first two terms plus 2 times in brackets x plus 1 from the last two terms. Therefore the integrand can be written as x times x square plus 1 divided by x square plus 1 whole square times x plus 1 plus 2 times x plus 1 divided by x square plus 1 whole square times x plus 1. Both terms simplify and the integrand is equal to x upon x square plus 1 times x plus 1 plus 2 upon x square plus 1 whole square. Now let's resolve the first term here into partial fractions. So let's assume that x upon x square plus 1 times x plus 1 is equal to ax plus b divided by x square plus 1 plus c upon x plus 1 where a, b and c are unknowns to be determined. The right hand side can be written as ax plus b times x plus 1 plus c times x square plus 1 divided by x square plus 1 times x plus 1. This is equal to ax square plus ax plus bx plus b plus cx square plus c in the numerator and the denominator is the same that is x square plus 1 times x plus 1. Collecting terms with like powers of x we get a plus c times x square plus a plus b times x plus b plus c divided by x square plus 1 times x plus 1. And this is equal to the left hand side which is x upon x square plus 1 times x plus 1. Now the denominator is the same across the left hand side and the right hand side and the numerator equating terms with like powers of x we get a plus c is equal to 0 because the coefficient of x square on the left hand side is 0. We get a plus b is equal to 1 and finally we get b plus c is equal to 0. The first equation implies that c is equal to minus a. The third equation implies that c is equal to minus b. And therefore a is equal to b and the second equation therefore implies that both a and b are equal to half and so the value of c is equal to minus half. Therefore x upon x square plus 1 times x plus 1 is equal to half times x plus 1 divided by x square plus 1 minus half of 1 upon x plus 1. Using this result, the integrand x cubed plus 3x plus 2 divided by x square plus 1 whole square times x plus 1 which has been determined earlier to be equal to x upon x square plus 1 times x plus 1 plus 2 upon x square plus 1 whole square can be further written as half of x plus 1 upon x square plus 1 minus half of 1 upon x plus 1 plus 2 upon x square plus 1 whole square. This can be further expressed as half of x upon x square plus 1 plus half of 1 upon x square plus 1 minus half of 1 upon x plus 1 plus 2 upon x square plus 1 whole square. The given integral i is therefore equal to half of integral x dx upon x square plus 1 plus half of integral dx upon x square plus 1 minus half of integral dx upon x plus 1 plus 2 times integral dx upon x square plus 1 whole square. This is equal to half of half of ln of x square plus 1 plus half of tan inverse x minus half of ln x plus 1 plus the last term which is 2 times integral dx upon x square plus 1 whole square. 
Now to evaluate integral dx upon x square plus 1 whole square, substitute x is equal to tan theta, therefore dx is equal to sec square theta d theta, therefore the value of integral dx upon x square plus 1 whole square is equal to integral sec square theta d theta divided by 1 plus tan square theta whole square. Now 1 plus tan square theta is equal to sec square theta and therefore the value of this integral is equal to integral sec square theta d theta divided by sec theta raised to the power 4 which simplifies to integral cos square theta d theta. This is equal to half of integral 2 cos square theta d theta which is equal to half of integral 1 plus cos 2 theta d theta. And therefore the value of integral dx upon x square plus 1 whole square is equal to half of in brackets theta plus half of sine 2 theta which is equal to theta upon 2 plus 1 fourth of sine 2 theta which can be written as 2 sine theta cos theta and therefore we get theta upon 2 plus half of sine theta cos theta. Now consider a right angle triangle where the angle between the base and the hypotenuse is theta tan theta is x and therefore the perpendicular is x and the base is 1 therefore the hypotenuse is equal to square root of 1 plus x square from Pythagoras theorem and therefore in this triangle sin theta is equal to x upon square root of 1 plus x square and cos theta is equal to 1 upon square root of 1 plus x square. Using these results the value of integral dx upon x square plus 1 whole square simplifies to half of tan inverse x plus half of sin theta which is x upon square root of 1 plus x square times cos theta which is 1 upon square root of 1 plus x square and this simplifies to half of tan inverse x plus x upon 2 times 1 plus x square. Using this result the given integral i is equal to 1 fourth of ln of x square plus 1 plus half of tan inverse x minus half of ln of x plus 1 plus 2 times in brackets half of tan inverse x plus x upon 2 times 1 plus x square plus the constant of integration and this is equal to 1 fourth of ln of x square plus 1 plus 3 upon 2 times tan inverse x minus half of ln of x plus 1 plus x upon 1 plus x square plus the constant of integration and this is the required answer.